In this video, we will discuss about renal clearance. Renal clearance means that the amount of the plasma that is cleared of a substance in a given unit of time or it is the volume of the plasma that is completely cleared of a substance by the kidneys per unit time. So renal clearance is the process that occurs in the kidneys and it shows the volume of the plasma that would need to be completely cleared of a substance per minute in order to produce the amount that is found in the urine. This equation can be used to calculate the renal clearance where uh, Cu in the equation shows the concentration of the substance in urine, V is the volume of the urine that is passed per minute and Cp shows the concentration of substance in the plasma. Now important significance of renal clearance is that it tells us how the kidneys are functioning. The different substances can be used for assessing the kidney functions where the uh, clearance values are determined for those substances and these values then help in assessing the kidney functions. So any substance that is freely filtered which means that uh, filtered freely as water and that is not reabsorbed and not secreted by the renal tubules then the rate at which that substance is excreted in the urine will be equal to the rate of filtration of that substance by the kidneys. So any substance that follows all these rules will have a renal clearance that is equal to the GFR. So it means that by measuring the clearance, we are actually measuring the GFR. These substances include creatinine. Creatinine is a product of our muscle breakdown. It is freely filtered and is not reabsorbed, but it is slightly secreted that can introduce a little error. So the more accurate measurements can be obtained by another compound that is called as inulin. And the clearance of inulin is used to estimate the GFR because it is freely filtered, neither reabsorbed, not secreted. It follows all these rules. But important point here is that the inulin has to be injected to measure the GFR as compared to the creatinine that is the natural product of our muscle breakdown. So imagine a substance that is freely filtered, neither reabsorbed and nor secreted. This means that, that the amount of the substance that is excreted in the urine will be determined by its amount that is filtered per unit time. Or simply we can say that the rate of clearance of such substances will be equal to their glomerular filtration rate. Examples of these substances include creatinine and inulin. Now imagine a scenario where a substance is freely filtered but is also subjected to extensive reabsorption which means that the amount excreted is now less as compared to the amount that is filtered. An example of this uh, scenario is the glucose which is extensively reabsorbed in proximal convoluted tubules such that its renal clearance is very low that is essentially zero. Now let's imagine a scenario where a substance is not only freely filtered but there are extensive secretion mechanisms also involved and these mechanisms they will move an additional amount of that substance from the peritubular capillaries into the tubular lumen and in this case the excreted amount would be far greater than the amount that is filtered which means that the renal clearance will be of such substances will be relatively high. So it means that it appears as nearly all of the substances removed from the blood plasma enters one single pass through the kidneys. So it means that the renal clearance is found to be very high as compared to its um, glomerular filtration rate such that the renal clearance of these substances almost equals the renal plasma flow. This is because that the amount that is excreted by the kidneys is almost equal to the amount that is entering the kidney through the renal artery. An example of this uh, situation is the paraaminohypuric acid which is an organic anion and is extensively secreted into the proximal tubule. But this is only true at very low plasma concentrations of paraaminohypuric acid. So we can say that renal clearance can be used to characterize how a substance is being handled by the kidneys either it is reabsorbed or secreted. And it is also used to describe the important parameters of kidney functions that will help to assess that how well the kidneys are functioning, which include the glomerular filtration rate and renal plasma flow. For more interesting videos and lectures, 
Stay tuned to Scadia.com. Have you ever heard of video books? Scadia.com is delighted to present video books, medical books that have been tailored into a series of videos. Scadia.com videos are presented in the same order as the book's chapters. Explore now and make your learning easy.